Bonjour, messieurs. Today I'm going to talk about a Canadian razor from Razor Rock. And since most Canadians speak French, I thought I would dress the part. <laughs> so we'll take this off before I choke to death. Okay, let's begin. Uh, what am I going to use? This is a Razor Rock. I just got done reviewing this in an open box. It's a 0.68-P uh, <laughs> Razor Rock Razor. This is a 316L stainless steel. The entire razor is CNC machine. It is heavy razor. I had almost can't even hold it up with my two hands. There's no overhang in it. I already have a razor blade in it. And what razor blade do I have? The Astra, the Astra Green. Uh, when I put this in, I want to show you something. I, I originally put it in wrong. Then I read the instructions on uh, the razor. It's a three-piece razor. It's a closed comb. Okay. This is, uh, let me take the razor out first. This really bends over that plate, the bottom plate, really strongly. You have to be careful when you take it out because uh, everything is so fits so tightly. There we go. Okay. This is the bottom razor, the, the bottom of the plate, and this is the upper part. But if you look at the upper part, it's got dimples here instead of the little post sticking out. Then on the other half, the bottom part, it's got the little dimples. You can see that? I think you can see that right here. So what you do, they say, is you put the, take the razor blade and you put this in there like this. And you want to press it down carefully. You press it down so that it looks something like that. And then, it's a little different than most of your razors. You put this in the center. Now, when you stick first stick it in, you'll see it's off center a little bit, kind of cockeyed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start, I'm going to at least get it started. Get it started, and before I tighten it down, I'm going to shift it around a little bit. You can feel it, you can feel it snap in place. And before I tighten it down, I'm going to check to make sure that the razor and the edges here are are uh, pretty good. But I want to take it apart one more time. I want to show you something. This particular razor, okay, on this half over here says Razor Rock. And there's a there's a part number right under the wording, and over on the other side it says made in Canada. Hence the hat and the, the mustache, made in Canada, and it's got a serial number. Every one of these heads it says a special serial number just for you, so you don't find that unless it's really an expensive razor. And these are not terribly expensive. So okay, I'm going to tighten that down now. Double check it, and there we go. This is really heavy. I think I weighed it at three point, was it four three or three four ounces? Pretty heavy razor. All right, let's move on here. The brush I'm going to use is a Frank uh, shaving brush from Hong Kong. I believe this is a. Uh, it feels like a little stiffer. It almost feels like a cross between a badger and a synthetic. I believe this is the synthetic version. It's a little thicker. I think it's a 26 mil thickness in here. Right, the, the uh, shampoo I'm going to use, shampoo, shaving leather I'm going to use is the Barbershop by Shannon Soap Company. This was donated or given to me by uh, Chris out at uh, Backroads Gold in uh, Chloride, Arizona, who I uh, bought three or four vintage razors from. I'm letting it uh, soak in the water a little bit, and I'm going to wash my face right now and let's begin this. I'm going to soak, let me put the brush first in some hot water. It doesn't need very much time because it's synthetic. They, you, you, I, I've said this many times before, you don't need to soak it too long. All right, let's do the face wash with the brute soap. Normally, with a new razor, I use a shaving cream or oil, pre-shave cream or oil. But today, 
I'm going to skip it for some reason. I don't know why. All right. A little bit more soap on there. Come on. There you go. That Brutes, Brutes, Brut, Brut, B U, no, B R U T soap. How come I have so many four letters and I have trouble spelling it? Probably because I was probably trying to speak French. J'ai envie de toi, chérie. That's the only French I know. All right. Uh, let's, uh, I've been blooming the, the uh, soap here, so I'm going to pour a little of it in my hands and I'll wash, put that on my face. To kind of prepare it. It's going to be interesting to see how this uh, razor shaves. All right, let me uh, see how we do here. I'm going to do this. I'm going to mix it right in here, lather it right in here. I got a lot of soap. I'm going to pour it in my other container. And let's. Uh, it gets real messy. Do you all have a nice Christmas? I hope so. Wow, is this... <laughs> Might have put too much water in this, I think, but we'll find out a bit sooner or later. Probably when I use all the soap up, it's going to go down. All right, I'm, I'm trying to get the soap. To, let's get it out of there. Okay, now we'll do it. Now I could hear it. All right, now I'm just take this and put this in my little tin cup here. Yeah, take a little work, but we'll get her. I've had too much water on my brush to begin with. You like the hat today, the R7? All my companies used to start with R7, R7 LLC. That was a company I had in Europe at one point. Just put some hot water on this other one. All right. It's a little bit watery yet. I'm going to put a little more soap in there. Didn't prepare very well, I guess, did I today? All right. I'm going to have soap all over the bathroom here. <laughs> Can mix it right in here. Wow. Boy, it smells really good. All right, back to my bowl. Oh yeah, now it's coming up. A little watery, but a little, a little watery, a lot of water. Look at that. Oh, oh, it smells nice. All right. Let's go with this and see how it does. It's a big brush. I'm usually more used to a 24 mil than a uh, 26. And this is really watery. Let me uh, just take some more out of here and see if I can get more of a lather. I didn't wring enough water out of this. Yeah, it's pretty watery, but I'm going to use it anyway. Got it all over my shirt. I've got, let's see, one, two, three. More razors by Razor Rock, but none of them are stainless. This is the only one that's stainless. It was like $65. Boy, getting this all over. Stainless, about $65. The other ones were under $25 each, and the other ones were really good. So I'm, I'm really kind of waiting to see how this will do. If I can keep this stuff on my face instead of all over everywhere else. Okay. All right. That's good enough for right now. 
Oh, what a mess. <laughs> Hang on. I get it. Well, you can't take me anywhere. All right. Let's take the razor now. A razor rock, the 0.68-P. I have no idea what the P stands for. Maybe some of you know. All right, let's start and see how we do here. Very smooth. This razor has a 0.68 gap. I'm taking my, my time with it because it's, it's a new razor. No gap on this, by the way, whatsoever. So you don't have to be careful around, you do not have to be careful around your nose or your ears. You almost have to lay this uh, razor down flat against the skin, not like, you know, usually it's about a 30 degree angle on most razors, but this one I think you can get away with a lot less. Nice job. All right, let's uh, go to pass number two. One of my viewers, Jen, I believe it is, J-E-N, requested that I do a, a review of shaving products, and I have no problem with it, but you need to let me know if you want it on brushes or razors or razor blades or uh, narrow it down a little bit. I mean, one, I could do one month of uh, just razor blades, another month of balms. I really want to go into what goes into making a good cream. I need some more. This is pretty wet yet. It's all right. So if you could let me know, I'd be more than happy to do that for you. If you have a preference, let's say if you wanted me to do... Uh, Start off with creams first, and then at a later date, move over to uh, regular soaps, hard soaps. More than happy to do that. So far, I really messed this, <laughs> this lather up. It's not. Let me go back into the container again. Let me get some soap, put that right on my face. Just work it in. That's better. Now we're coming. 
I don't know if you guys watch uh, Kevy Shaves. I watch him all the time. He's in uh, Scotland, probably up, I don't know, maybe near Edinburgh. Which I was in that country, in that city, gosh, in 1966, I think, or 67. I was in Iceland, and Keplavik, Iceland. I worked for the government and an air base there. And I went over there for, do some shopping. But Kevy, uh, if I can look at this, I got more on my shirt. <laughs> what he does is he works it until it gets glossy. And I've been trying it. So either been doing this a long time, you know, you still learn from other people, little techniques and, so you gotta keep an open mind, open mind. Open mind, but close mouth, so you don't get the soap in. There you go. Yeah, this is a 26, 26 mil uh, brush. And I just, it's a great brush. I just prefer uh, a smaller one. I'm, maybe that's what I'm used to. You know, we all have preferences. and It's a synthetic, I can tell. All right. How's that looking, guys? Okay. You like the hat? Does it do something different to you? <laughs> you want to speak French right away or start eating uh, classic French omelets? Oh, let's talk about French omelets. I also do a cooking, has some cooking videos, and I deal with uh, French carbon steel pans. And I was watching, uh, who's that guy that cooks all the time from England? Or Great Britain. Second path is really smooth, by the way. Uh, Ram is it Ramsey? Gordon Ramsey. He was giving a demonstration in his kitchen on uh, cooking the classic French omelet. And what does that mean, classic French omelet? It's an omelet that looks like a cigar that's rolled, but there's no brown on it at all. And it's like custard on the inside. And are absolutely, it's, it gives a new definition to the word omelet. And I guess, if you go to chef school and you want to get a job as a chef in a nice hotel, a lot of times they'll say, make me a classic French omelet. If you can't do it, they won't hire you. Well, it's pretty easy. To make it in a like a Teflon pan, but to make it in carbon steel is another animal. I probably went through about four dozen eggs before I found out how to do it. And this last week, I finally succeeded. And why did I do the same way? You guys didn't tell me. I went down just like I did before. All right. No big deal, it got me talking here, not paying attention. Uh, so the classic French omelet looks like a cigar that's about that long. And uh, the classic French omelet, or farm omelet, farm omelet, it's got a little, it's like brown on the, the egg itself on the omelet. And the brown comes, that comes from the fact that it was left in the pan too long. It's not bad, it's just a way of making it. But I wanted to make a classic French omelet in a carbon steel pan. And so I got to make a video on that. And then I'll probably wear my hat or my chef's hat. I don't even know why I brought it up. I just can't hear you. <laughs> I hear you later when you write your comments. But that's about it. And you could use this thing as a weapon. Look at the cream on that. Oh, does that feel good? It feels good. All right, let's do this right. Don't interrupt me. I gotta go sideways now.
Interesting. I have a little scar here from an automobile accident about 20 years ago. And even though it's slightly indented, I don't, right there, the, it seems like that you know, when I first started using these double-edged razors, oh, I'm going to cut that to pieces. And I, and I still can go over it with no, no sweat. It's a very nice razor. It feels very uh, safe and comfortable and secure in the hand. I, I'm trying to figure out some adjectives that can describe it. It's very smooth and predictable. You like that pose? <laughs> I knew it. All right, one more pass. In a couple of days, I'm going to do uh, a New Year's old New Year's shave. All right, a lot of lather. Look at that. Oh, nice. That's what I like about this hobby. There's so many different choices that you can make. None of them are right. None of them are wrong. It's just. Something for everybody that you like or dislike, you know. Like, if you talk about Gillette razor blades, you got the silver blues, which are okay. Black guys like them, great. But I'll tell you what, the platinums blow it away. Platinum Gillette blades. At least they, for me, at least. The one blade I can't stand is the Bic. <laughs> I bought a hundred of them. I used one, one time, and I returned them all. Got my money back, but... And other people say, oh, they're great, cheap razors. Well, they're cheap, but God, there are so many much better ones. I'm trying to get a gloss on this. All right, all right. This is gonna be against the grain. Good audible quality. guys can give me some feedback some of the videos that I'm making I put background music at about 27 28 DB down sometimes I think it's irritating when I listen to it let me know what your comments are if I get more people say they hate it then I won't put them up anymore but I'm just trying to try some different things and make the this experience different and more enjoyable. So far, so good. You can almost buff with this razor. All right, one last thing around the neck. And then I think we'll call it a day or a night. It's getting dark out already, and it's about quarter to four in Illinois. Yeah, around the neck, and then I do the face again. 
You guys are no help at all today. Okay. Got to let me know. What are you guys doing for uh, New Year's? <laughs> I usually go out, but sometimes I've got to have one drink. Maybe a martini with cheese stuffed, uh, blue cheese stuffed olives. And uh, I usually get ice on the side so I can water it down. And then after that I drink coffee. I just, a lot of times I don't even like the taste of vodka. I really don't drink that much. Hard to drink at all, really. All right. We're going to do the neck now since I uh, overdid the face again. And I didn't cut myself yet. I'm going to use a persona red in this next time. I nicked myself here a little bit. And then I'm going to see. Holding the razor flat against the face, kind of semi buffing it. I think this razor was like under sixty dollars or something. Okay. Use some cold water. See how we did. I'll give you my opinion in a second. Understanding that I'm not an expert at shaving. I'm an expert at getting soap in my ears though. <laughs> okay. Little neck there that's, I don't even know if I have to put uh, anything on that. All right, let's give it the finger test here. Smooth, it's very smooth. Very pleased with that. And we're going to follow up with some witch hazel by Thayer's the cucumber. Just right there. Oh yeah. <clears throat> this is the only beret I've got with uh, R7 on it, but all my ball caps have R7 on the top because I'm a I'm a private detective also and my company is called R7 Investigations and I like things short and sweet. Okay, let's go over this. Let's kind of go uh, bass backwards here. I'm, I'm using the Frank's uh, shaving brush. This is synthetic 26 mil. Uh, comes from Hong Kong. Just a real nice brush. It lathers up nice when you do it right. Not like I did it today. But th this is nice soap. The soap I got from uh, Chris out at uh, Backroads Gold in Chloride, Arizona. That's this uh, barbershop soap. And that comes from uh, Shannon Soap Company. Nice soap, very nice. All right, uh, the Thayer's Witch Hazel. And I gotta wipe my hands here, dries for a second. And, oh, after shave lotion, I, I'm going to use this. Comes from the Philippines. You cannot buy it here. It's called M7, not R7, but M7 Gentile. Uh, Just My Sense is the name of it. Just My Sense. 
I mean, I looked all over for it. I, I, you can't buy it here. But if I buy some, I, I'm going to go to Philippines this spring. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick up some. They're really nice. Oh, it's a little spray thing on it. Very nice. Then the, the uh, aftershave balm I'm going to use is Goodfellow and Company. I've used this before. It's got kelp and sea minerals in it. And number five, face lotion. I don't know why it says number five. Can I read it in the back here? Uh, it's got rosemary, lavender, sage, uh, whatever. Made without silicones, sulfates, parabenes, or synthetic dyes. Cool, but it's a good, it's it's nice. It's uh does the job. So I'll put a little bit on my hand like that. Close the top. Oh man. You guys have to let me know if you like the hat. I got some more. Every time I do shave, I mean wear a different type of hat. <laughs> Why? Because I can. Oh, it's nice. Push up, guys, push up. It gets rid of the wrinkles. Okay, and I got left over. It's very dry here now. Although the last few days, it's not so dry, but it's uh, it has been warm. Like I think in the 40s to the 60s. All right. I got like the cream all over. I think I put too much on my hands, but that's all right. It'll, it'll work in. But, all right, the razor blade I was using is the Astro Green. Comes in a little package like that. Five blades to a pack. And I usually get, oh, about four shaves out of my Astro. This is the uh, new Razor Rock uh, 68-P CNC made from solid 316L stainless steel marine grade. Everyone is individually serial numbered. Uh, it's a closed comb. There are there's no overhang at all. Very heavy razor. I'm very pleased with it. When I buy it again, and I did buy this by the way. Yes, I would. I don't need two of them, but I would buy this again if I if I wanted it. So I'm very happy with that. And uh, I think with that said, I'll have two other videos. Let's see which way up here up there and one down there and a subscribe button on this side uh, if you wouldn't mind taking a look at the videos if, if you like them hit the subscribe button the bell and then if you hit the bell you'll get future notification of new videos that are coming out and I got some more I have a lot of new products sitting on my desk that I want to review I'll be wearing a different hat every time and uh, I really thank you for stopping in and I appreciate all you we appreciate all you guys that subscribe and leave your comments. I try to answer them all as you well know. And Jen, let me know what you want me to do reviews on soaps or brushes or creams. Uh, something will take like 30 minutes or a little bit less, be fine. I can do a lot of me more than happy to uh, do that for you. So you all have a nice day. Have a nice time between now and New Year's. I'll see you right before New Year's on my New Year's Eve shave. So have a great day, okay? Thanks for stopping in. Bye-bye.